Good morning, everyone. <laughs> this is me in my natural state with my really nice, silky smooth, luscious hair. Um, I am filming a get ready with me, or like like a like a like a glow up. A glow up. That's what I'm filming. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna show you what I use on my hair. I've had my hair's naturally really really curly. This is not what it used to be like. I'll send a photo of what it used to look like right here. Um, and I just brushed it. That's why it's so big. Um, so I've got I've got my keratin, even though it doesn't look like it, but I have. Um, and this is what I use. And it's just a keratin protein shampoo conditioner. It doesn't have any sulfates or parabens. Is that what it's called? I don't really have a specific one that I use, but I use that one mostly because my parents divorced, so if I just use whichever ones at mum's or dad's, but I always get sulfate, sulfate free ones. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wash my hair and I will be back to <laughs> just style my hair. Also, I got bangs, so I'm really struggling with how to style my life right now because it's so humid and I will blow dry them straight and then they go like frizzy a few minutes later and it's so annoying. So I think I might just, I used, I've been just chucking my hair back and then curling my bangs. But I don't know, we'll just, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I've been sick for the longest time over it. I usually do my skincare in the shower, but I was like, I want to show what I use. Um, I usually use Sukin, um, but I got these little testers because I got like a, a certain amount of points at Sephora and they oh, like, gave me all these little things. So they gave me these, they gave me a few things, um, but these are just some of them. <laughs> um, this is all, it's all wet, love that. Um, it's a little, I don't know how to say it, Bos Boskia? I think it's pronounced Boskia, I'm not sure, but these little things. Um, the um, detoxing black cleanser and then the exfoliating peel gel and they gave me a little face mask as well the magic super anti oh, antioxidants mask and it is so good I want to go and get the full size but I don't know how much it is and I'm really not working much so I'm not earning a lot of money um, so that's really great okay so I've got my pretty leopard, leopard print um, <coughs> Leopard cheetah can tell you. Um, I'm gonna just tie my hair back while I do my face. Um, and then after I do that, I just dry my face. Um, and with this exfoliating kit, it is so weird. <laughs> um, you so you don't have your face wet. Usually, I with other exfoliators I would, but this, you know, my tapping face wet. Um, and it, it's so gross, so I just put like that much on, rubbing my fingers, and I put it on my face, and I'll show you, I don't know if you'll even be able to see it, but as you rub it on, it like picks up the dead skin cells, and it feels disgusting, but it like leaves your skin feeling so, so nice. I've been using this for like two weeks now, and my skin has been so happy, and I'm just living my best life really. Um, I don't know if you can even see it. Can you see like these dots? That is my dead skin being lifted off of my face. Yummy. Um, and then I just wash that off and I don't know if I'm going to do a face mask. I do it for the sake of the video because that's cute. Okay, so I just wash that off. I'm going to do my face mask now. going to be a bougie bitch. <laughs> so I'll just leave this on for 15 minutes and I might let my hair air dry a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. I put on my towel because my hair was dripping everywhere and I was like, mm -mm, the same I need. <coughs> <coughs> I am gross, I know it, okay? Really glamorous like this. Oh, I'm gonna take a, a what's it called? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my thumbnail ready. Oh, I should probably put my towel back on because that looks cute. Okay, I'm excited. I'm getting sister excited. <laughs> That's not a thing, what the heck? This is just stop. My tail looks so much better before. Okay. I don't know how to. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, 
okay that was awesome <laughs> stretching my hair really fun really nice i'm gonna wash this off should i wash it off or should i do my hair because it's still a bit dry i mean it's still a little bit wet in between my eyebrows um i think my bangs are gonna really annoy me i have really curly hair and I had this um, treatment done. I'm not going to name the place because they could sue me. <laughs> um, but they had this treatment. This one salon had this treatment. It wasn't like permanently straightening your hair, but like the more you got it, the straighter your hair got. It wasn't keratin, but it was keratin based. Um, and I got it for maybe a year and a bit, or like two years or something. Um, and um, the more you get it done, the longer it would the straight your hair would be um and they stopped doing it because they realized it was causing deformed babies so i stopped doing that um and um so it's grown out of my hair you can't tell now but like the top you could see like in the last clip my hair is really curly at the roots and then kind of straight at the bottom and so it looks really cool so i just get up and keratin now I haven't had keratin in a few months it's probably like almost all out of my hair but i really can't afford to get it done again so I think I'm just going to have to go back to being a curly queen and I really am not excited for it. I'm just going to wash this off and then um, I will be back. Um, and my final step, I use my Sukin Rich Facial Moisturiser and this is my favourite moisturiser in the whole world so I love you Sukin, sponsor me. I feel like I'm in a really funny mood right now. I was not like this when I first started videoing. I was editing. Um, um, while I was waiting for my time off for my hair mask, um, I was editing and I was like, I am so dull. And then I watched, um, my friend Lewis, who saw my last video, who sent me a, um, bunch of videos and I was just like, wow, I love Lewis. And I just, every time I talk to Lewis or I'm with him or whatever, I'm just getting really happy. So I'm happy now. Thank you, Lewis, if you're watching this. Um, oh, before I just used a um, MAC um, Ultra Soft Leave-In Conditioner. Oh wait, I thought that was leave-in conditioner. Oh my god, I thought that was a styling product. A heat. Oh my god. Well, I thought that this was a heat protectant, but it's not. So, oops, I probably should be putting in something else in my hair then. And I'm just putting in a coconut oil. I'm the worst, I need to show you what I'm using. Um, coconut milk, whatever this brand is, it doesn't have a beauty pure and simple. I think that's what it is. I don't know. But I just put that at the end of my hair. <coughs> Actually, I put so much crap in my hair. Well, not crap, I put good things. I just put whatever is here at my mum's house. Sorry, mum, if you're watching this. <laughs> um, and now I'm using the L'Oreal ultra rich precision oil mist for perfect shine i don't know what i'm doing i just put everything in the ends of my hair because i really don't want my hair to die and i'm really scared because oh i was telling a story before i'm so <laughs> i am not on it today um okay so i'm editing right now and uh, <laughs> i realized that i jumped from something else from like a topic to another topic because i realized that topic that I was talking about before I jumped to another topic so I'm basically doing the exact same as what I did before and I'd say I'm the worst but I'm doing it so like I'm not improving um yeah so the ends of my hair are straight and then um because I got bangs she like framed it all around my face and she cut like and um <laughs> and she cut off the straight bits, so like these bits go really curly now, and I'm like, no, because that means my curly hair's going back. Like, I love curly hair, but just not on me. When I first started getting my hair straightened, everyone was like, wow, she has glowed up. And I had so many boys messaging me, and I was like, oh, this is my height. <laughs> not that that proves your worth. <laughs> my, I just got a lot more confident when I had my straight hair. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to blow dry my hair. <laughs> okay, so 
So I have finished. My hair is pissing me off. These bangs, like they're cute, but like they're annoying. They are so annoying. They do not stay out of your face. But I tried to blow dry them to be straight. Not straight, to like have a bit of a curl to them and so they like sit back like that. But it just doesn't want to and it likes to come in. So that's really awesome. Um, Now onto makeup. <laughs> Okay, I just put my beauty blender and got a drink because I'm thirsty. <sighs> I'm just doing, I'm not really doing anything today. I want to go get um my license renewed, so I want to kind of like look cute for my photo. <laughs> so um, I usually don't do a lot of makeup. I like will just do um. I don't know what is it? I usually use my De Bronzy Serum. It just gives you like a tint of darkness. <laughs> I don't know, it makes you look tan, so I love it. Um, but I'm gonna use a bit more coverage today just cause I wanna look really cute in my photo. <laughs> um, so I'm just using a bit full of coverage. Um, I'd never set this foundation because it creases really bad. It looks really, it looks really ugly <clears throat> and just really bad when you set it, so I never set it. But I wore it clubbing the other day because I wanted to give it another chance. It was the worst decision of my life. Um, I always use my Estee Lauder Double Wear um, foundation when I go clubbing because it stays. Like, when you get drunk, for so I don't know if this happens to everyone, but for me, my skin just goes disgusting. Like, it just creases, everything goes really bad, and it just does not look cute at all. And I'm like, what the heck? Like it just looks so bad, um, but whenever I use my double wear it lasts so I'm like well What the heck and I don't know why I tried Even bothered trying something else because I didn't know it works, but I kind of over using the same foundation, but Yeah, um also I only use this foundation with a brush the first time I used it, I used a, my beauty blender and it just looked so bad and I was like, what the heck, this is the worst foundation ever. And then I Googled it and I was looking up reviews and everyone was like, do not use a sponge, use a brush. And I'm like, that's so weird. Um, but I use it, I use the brush to just blend everything in. And then I, um, and then I will like make sure it's synced into my, synced, sunk, pressed into my skin with my beauty blender. Okay, and then I will use my Clinique Chubby Stick. Um, it's my favorite thing in the whole world. My hair is pissing me off. It is not, I don't know if you can see this, this situation, but it's really not my mood at all. Um, and I just do that. I use the same brush. I really probably shouldn't, but I don't really care. Um, and I just use that and it just look, makes you look so chiseled and so cute. Um, and I love it. And I make sure it goes into my hairline so I don't have a weird ass orange line. Okay, can that not be in my face? Thank you. It just gives such a nice look. I love it. Okay, this, okay. These are pissing me off. I usually have a um, unicorn, like a unicorn headband to keep my hair out of my face, but I don't know where it is. I'm just going to tie my hair up even though I just straightened it. That's probably the dumbest thing to do, but you know what? I don't care. It's pissing me off. Okay, my ears are still so red. Yikes. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, I like to, I think, oh, I like to do, yeah, I'll do concealer now. I don't even know why I bothered putting um, foundation on my eyelids because I always end up taking it off um, because, um, because it just creases if I don't set it and I can't set it with this foundation because it's not bad, but it just, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I just, I'm doing this all so wrong. I don't even care. Like, I don't care. It's fine. I just take it off my eyelids um, because I hate when I, I have creasing on there because it looks just so tacky. Um, and yep, love that. Okay, now I will just bronze with my hula bronzer. Um, it's i hit pan and I'm really sad. I don't have good brushes. The, probably the best brushes I have are Real Techniques and they're actually pretty good. Okay, we love that. Okay, so now I use a little, little baby brush and I use the um, Mecca Max Gold Glow. 
um, blush. It's really pretty. I used to never really be into blushes until I got this blush. And it just gives you such a little, <laughs> like it's already so cute. It just gives like such a subtle little flush of color and I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. Then I will use, um, where is it? My uh, Mecha Max, do I say Mecha Max, Mecha Max, well, whatever it is. Um, Get Lit, um, little um, <laughs> highlighting palette. Use the little gold shade here because the other shades are not right for me at all. Um, and I have a pimple right here, so I'm trying to avoid that because it draws attention, but I've already put it on there, so that's all awesome. And I'll just put it on my cheekbones under my eyebrow. I put it on my forehead because I like when the light hits there and it looks really pretty. <laughs> and I really like this highlight because it's not too shimmery. It just kind of looks like a bit of a glow. Not really like highlight. It looks like a bit of a bit of oil, a bit of sweat. <laughs> um, and I put some on my nose as well because that's always cute. And I just curl. I always, for some reason, I always have to start on this eye and this eyebrow or else if I start on the other one, it'll stuff up my whole, my whole makeup, so. Okay, I've curled one eyelash and then straight away I go in with the mascara or else they'll fall. It's fine, it's whatever. Okay, cute. Um, and then I just take a Q-tip. And I just take off all the yucky stuff. And then this way it also takes off all the foundation that's on the eyelid. Um, because we hate eyelid creasing. So, yay. Um, so yeah. I always just curl it straight after. I put mascara straight after I curl it because um, I think if you leave it, like if you curl it, then curl the other one and then put mascara on, I feel like they drop a lot. Um, and it just never... Turns out good for me, so yeah, that's how I do that. Um, and now I'm just gonna do eyebrows off camera because they take way longer than my mascara does. Okay, <laughs> I've done like three outros since video because I thought I was done, but I realized a life hack and I'm so happy and I need to show you everyone. So I was trying to style my hair and I was like, why isn't it not working? But, because I was doing it with a blow dry and I was like, hold on, I'm gonna try and do it with a straightener because I know how to use a straightener better than a blow dryer and it's worked so much better and it looks like how it did in the salon and I'm so happy. I am so so happy and I just oh, I got my life together again. <laughs> I hated my hair for like a good few days because I was like I can't style it but I've discovered how to do it and it's probably really damaging but you know what beauty is pain. Anyway um thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next video. See ya!